be watching on a replay i highly doubt people are going to join at this time of night especially uk people uh, so i'm going to jump straight into what this live's all about i basically have pre-recorded quite a bunch of videos i think there might be three weeks worth already pre-recorded ready to come out they are unfortunately all top invertebrate videos um, i know they're not everyone's cup of tea but I kind of needed to fill that gap and, and get those videos out there. Um, so why am I doing a live when I'm not expecting people to join? Well, the reason being is because I want to explain what's going on. I've had uh, quite a lot of messages um, over the course of the last two weeks of people asking me how Realm Furb's going. And I thought it's a bit easier for me to just make a live and explain everything that's going on that people can watch back and understand. Uh, hi, DTG, how are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm just basically making this video to update people on what's going on without having to actually produce a video and put it out there that's just me talking, right? So um, it's I didn't expect people to join this. So hello, everyone that is joining. Um, so where I am right now, it's like 20 past midnight. Um, hello, everyone that's joining. Wow, I, I really didn't expect people to come on. I was just going to sit here and talk at the camera, but, you know, we can have a conversation too. So I just wanted to fill you guys in, basically, on what is happening with the Realm Verb. So if you haven't been following my channel or watched that video, we're having a big refurb of the Realm, of the, the Animal Ring. Um that's cost me over a thousand pounds. Those that have joined me under YouTube membership um, and those that have been a patron of mine because without that support, that additional finances, I couldn't do it. Um, Night Owl, yeah, I work, I work till late. Technically, I should have been at work until 20 minutes ago, but um, I finished a bit early today. So, yeah. So, Anyway, oh, hello, Alex. Why are you up, dude? It's late, man. Um, so, yeah, I just want to fill you guys in on what's going on. Oh, I think my thing just cut out. Um, this is the final enclosure I have built for the enclosure upgrades. And I'm sitting that there because it's taken me ages. Um, Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Oh, no problem, dude. Keep on, keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. So... I will do a proper update on these. These are mantis den enclosures, but they're not they're the not for mantis range. Um, so to fill you guys in on what's expected, I have purchased 44 mantis den not for mantis range enclosures. So we are having a really big upgrade. Now these come flat packed, so building them has taken me a long time to make 44 of them. Um, I have got LED lights installed on all of the shelving now. So I don't do the whole funky colored lights. I know that's kind of cool, but for my showing, I've gone for daylight ones because you actually get, for the price, you get it lit up better. There's more actual LEDs and more powerful LEDs getting the daylight ones. Um, than the color ones you can get some super color ones if you want to spend mega mega money right um and it already cost me uh 60 pounds worth of leds for these daylight ones so if i wanted them super bright in color we're looking at double that price so that's installed um i've created my new portable sling nursery now i'm not going to go into details on that my financial supporters already know what that looks like um because if you do follow me as a YouTube member or a patron, you can join my private Facebook group. And these guys already know basically everything that I'm about to tell you guys. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Um, so yeah, we've got that Sling North Nursery. I've got the Arboreal only shelving done. That isn't with Mantis Den enclosures, although I do have a few Arboreal ones. In fact, I might even be one of the only people to have the Tarantula range of Arboreal ones from Mantis Den. Maybe. I'm not sure because they, I don't know if they're on his website yet, but they weren't on his website. They were produced um, as a part of my large order with him. So yay, go me. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. So, Sorry if my internet cuts out, guys. It's a bit dodgy. 
Um, this is why I don't do lives anymore, because it's really dodgy internet connection here. Hi, Bobby. Oh, look, Feral Ferret's here too. Hey, dude. Um, so that's exciting news. We've got more exciting news to share with you. Um, my uh, Samopius Victori mature male is no longer with me. He's not dead. Uh, he's gone to Valley's Tarantulas. Gav, who lives in Wales, um, is going to attempt a pairing with his adult female. And I also have a Theraphosa Apothesis uh, has gone off for breeding too. So my big giant beauty of a tarantula is also no longer in the realm. Hopefully I'll get these boys back again. Um, but you know how pairings go. They're not, males don't always survive. So fingers crossed on that, that we can get lots of little, little babies coming through. And of course, um, anyone in the UK that will want to buy slings if I produce, if we get the sacks, um, I'll do them cheaper for you. I'd like to say I'd just give them all around, give them away, but honestly, I'm flat broke now from doing this. And there is an even more expensive project that will be coming up after Realm Furb. Uh, the project, I'm not going to go into details on here because I'd like to release an actual video on it, but that the future project is probably going to take me a good few years to do and will probably cost me uh, maybe a couple thousand. But this project isn't just a YouTube project. This is um, something important to me from my very roots. Um, it's, it's saving one part of our invertebrate hobby in the UK. It's not tarantula based. So we're gonna, we're just gonna leave it there. And those that have been following my community tab, you've probably read there's a lot of stick insect stuff coming up. Yes, this project is stick insect based, but it's, it's more important than me just making something for YouTube. This is a, a savior of the hobby project. That's why it's gonna cost so much money. Um, and it's the, be the biggest damn project I've ever done in my life. So fingers crossed for that. Um, stick zoo would be cool. No, it's not. It's, uh, I, I can't really go into details yet. Um, but I will explain. I'm trying to save the, we've been concerned about our tarantulas and things in the UK. We also need to be concerned about the other inverts in the hobby. And in the phasmid hobby, a lot of people get something in over here from the European market. Um, they raise them up and then they kill off the eggs, freeze off the eggs, get bored of them, um, forget, just don't bother feeding them anymore because they're sick of looking after them. And they that species dies out over here. Um, and it's really, really hard for us to get them now. So my plan will involve trying to save that hobby over here. Um, and there will be a lot of freebies given out when that project's done as well. But uh, anyway, where's my chat gone? Where's my chat gone? Uh, where are we? Uh, thanks to everyone that's, that's joined, by the way. You missed my stick content. It will be coming back. It'll be coming back strong after this realm verb. Realm verb. Uh, give up the gears. Hey, Tony, how you doing, man? Uh, Tony, I'll, I'll, I'll even speak to you about it in private message if you want to know, dude. Um, but yeah. I would love it if I could open a zoo, but no, it's uh, it's more than than just keeping lots of species. There's a lot more behind it than that, um, and it's taken me quite a lot of contacts and a lot of promises to people. So it's going to be tough. But yeah, I want to wait for the round fur video to come out before then. It's also kind of not quite a relaunch of my channel, but I'm learning my editor a bit better and we're going to come with a new intro a new outro as well um, with this particular realm verb when it's finished so a few more weeks we'll hit it differently it will still be the same old me in the videos but i want to try and um, do better b-roll shots i want to do just more fun entertaining videos um, and when it comes to the phasmus side of things i'm going to try and do a lot more educational based videos because people seem to really really miss those and you will not believe this right um oh tony yeah yeah i have i have spoke to you about it but i haven't given you all the details i haven't given you all the details yet um i've lost what i was going to say now 
I didn't expect people to join here this late, so I'm like proper span out being a better YouTuber, basically. My view count has been slipping quite dramatically, um, and I've seen a lot of newer people kind of overtake me in the view count, which is cool, you know, like these people, they deserve it. I'm not saying I deserve it any more than anybody else, but I've been in it quite a while now in this game, and it is a little disheartening when... Um, you see your content slipping, um, which is why I also kind of need to go back to a bit more of my roots, I think. And I need to keep the stick insect people happy because, believe it or not, my top viewing videos on a 28 day period still is my stick insect videos that are like two years old. So they're getting better views every month than any of my new content has in the last like six months pretty much it's mental absolutely mental so i kind of need to give that back um yeah so how is everyone today how is everyone today i literally just wanted to give the update with you guys that everything is still going ahead everything is really really good um i'll be definitely done within a matter of a, a couple of weeks well it's almost done now but i've got pre-recorded videos so sticky situation <laughs> has anybody else here got any 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 goals any goals to be doing especially with this year hello thanks for joining thank you tanya yeah it is how i'm known but i the thing is so the reason i cut back on a stick insect thing it wasn't like a loss of love for them it was from the original lock in the first lockdown in the uk my work was shut my food plants are by my work um i buy species engaged on what food plants are available near my work or near my house uh, my work if i were to walk because in first lockdown i didn't use public transport if i were to walk it would take me 45 minutes to get the food plants then it would take me further well quite a long time for the large collection that i had to collect food plants then 45 minute walk home again um when i'm not supposed to and um by that point i'd already sold off or given away a lot of my species because i felt that i was unable to give them the correct care so that's why the content stopped basically to do with them because i'm not going to keep showing off things that i can't look after properly but now things have settled a bit more and I know that my job's safe and my job's fine. Um, I can I can start building it back up again a little bit. Um, I'm just reading back now. Hello to everyone that's joined. What's Tony said here? Once you've relocated, you're welcome over to Venomous Visions HQ. I would love that, Tony. I honestly, I would I would be excited. I'd be like a a, a, a child kid in a candy shop type thing like i bring the camera we'll have a laugh i think i think that will be fantastic i'd absolutely love to see it dude uh cousin feral fact i want to finally record and release my eplp album i got one short track that you inspired me to do Getting failed feeding clips, bolters and other tea fail vids for the music videos. That would be really cool, man. Let me know when you manage to do that. Ah, oh, oh, I'm really quite happy that I got to speak to some of you today. I literally thought, right, I'll just bang on a live, explain what's going on and cut it off just so that people can watch it on a replay and realise what's going on. And now we're actually having a conversation, which is really nice. So Tanya wants to improve her uh, camera and editing skills and be more confident. It all just takes time. It just takes time. Um, I don't spend a lot of time on research in my editor, to be fair. Um, I just kind of like play around with it and pick up where I can, pick up new skills where I can. But the YouTube itself, the platform itself can teach you pretty much anything about any software anyway. So just type in like a tutorial of whatever software you're using and you'll probably be amazed at what your editor can actually do. Like uh, Kelly's now using a free one, uh, DaVinci Resolve, I think it's called. I don't understand DaVinci Resolve, 
but she got it. She watched some videos, and there's some crazy stuff. You, how are you doing? Uh, any more nightmares? Uh, yeah, but not fatal fangs related. Not anything funny, sadly. Um, I always have. I quite often get nightmares, sadly, on a serious note. But yeah, no funny ones. I'll sure to let you know if I do get some funny ones. I do need a new dressing gown because this one's getting a bit old now. I think I'll keep this one until Fatal Fangs ends and then I'll get myself a new dressing gown. That's going to be another goal. I love my dressing gown. So anyone that's joined recently, basically this video was just me to state that Realm Ferb is actually finishing earlier than expected, but I still have pre-scheduled videos. Um, 44 new enclosures, LED lighting, sling nursery, arboreal only shelf um, or shelving unit. There's just a few little bits that I can't afford to finish off, but they're not really major things. They're things I can kind of add in over time. Um, I want to insulate better my sling nursery and stuff to bounce heat, reflect heat back in. It's yeah, I'll explain it all in an actual video. Um, I've started editing a bit on my content, so I started to relax a bit more with my recordings. I think I finally settled down on who I am on camera. Finally shirted the cousin persona. Oh, it's good, man. You be you. Only you can know who you are, dude. And we, we'll love you for it no matter what. Only creepy crawly nightmares. I wish that was the case. They wouldn't even be nightmares if there was creepy crawlies in them. Uh, I um I've suffered uh, quite horrible nightmares for the past couple of years. It's it's not pretty. It's not pretty. Can you just nearly finish with Fatal Fangs three clips? I have done all mine as well, but I really want to replace one of my two minute ones. Um, the spider is so beautiful in it, but it's such a boring video. <laughs> um, it, it one of them is purely just like appearance is nice. Seeing the angles on the T were nice. But everything else was rubbish, and I really need to up the game. Wow, the Tarantula Collective. Richard is here. Hello, man. How are you doing? Good to see you too. Lovely. Yeah, oh, my thing keeps saying it's cutting off the internet. I'm really sorry if this is, like, really bad. Creepy, crawly nightmares for me is my baby's escaping, my dad killing it. Wow. Oh, I'd hate that. I'd hate to have that kind of nightmare. Blimey. So, yeah. I haven't really got much more to say. As I said, I literally went live to explain uh, as this situation and then I was just going to cut it off. And now there's like 18 people here having a chat with me. It's, it's bonkers, man. I do need to go to bed soon, though. Um, Favourite videos will always be the tarantula ones. As I really have no interest in sticks, I still watch, just not as much. Yeah, that's fair enough. Man. This is the thing. I'm very, I've got, I've got a very divided channel. See, so like, all the different creepy crawlies um, are loved by by all, but the two main aspects of my channel they are the T's and the phasmids, and they're like two separate groups of people. Like, I've got my tarantula loving viewers, and I've got my stick insect loving viewers, and both are not too interested in the other. Like, some will watch both, but none are like, they're kind of like completely separate groups. So, like, if I do a stick insect video, like, 80% of my tarantula viewers are not going to bother. Um, if I do it the other way, and I do, uh, I can't remember which way I just said now, but the other way around, the other viewers won't, it's, it's, it's mental. I need to catch up with the chat here. Um... Oh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cup of coffee for tomorrow morning on me since you're up. So, oh, dude, that's so nice. Do you know what? I've never had one of those before. I literally have never had one in my life. You are the first person to ever send, put the little money thing. Was it? Is it a super chat thing? I don't even know. See, this is just going live off my phone. Like, you've proper made my day. That cup of coffee is going to be class. If I remember, I'll put a picture up of it and everything to thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Better said to be out. It'll keep you awake. Yeah, it would. It would. I'd probably end up in someone else's room, to be fair. 
Sorry if I've missed anything else. Um, but, 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 but. Thank you to everyone that has joined. I'm sorry, I'm just being weird and staring at the screen. I literally just, there's so much more to read that I haven't seen here. There we go, I've got to the bottom now. Ah, oh, this has been lovely. Thank you all for joining me. Thanks for having a little chat with me. It's nice to come back from work because I come, I come home and um, I don't live alone. Um, I live with family at the minute and they're always in bed. And I literally, I'll come home, I see to the animals, been building these enclosures here um, every night for the past week. Um, and then I just sit back like this over here. Love you, I've got a purple sofa. How cool is that? Look, they're not my socks this time. None of these are my socks, okay? Not a single one. Um, and then I'll just stare at a TV. There's nothing even on my TV. Look at this. I just, I just stare at that screen. Like, I can't be bothered to put anything on. It's just lonely. It's lonely. So it's been so lovely to have this conversation. Where are we now? Well, anyone that's awake at night time, feel free to send me messages. Um, I'm normally up till about three, although I do want to catch an earlier night tonight because I can finally put all these enclosures up on the shelves. Um, we've got a mixture, so I've got 15 centimetre cubed. I've got these that are just slightly under 20 centimetres, they're like 19.5. Um, and then I've got 30 by 30 by 20 or 20 but i can't remember which way around the measurements go I've got my larger terrestrials um, and i've got uh, smaller arboreal ones too so i've got a nice awesome mixture and they are looking great so far i'm really really chuffed with them Oh, thank you, Brenda. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't see wrong. It's just that I've I've had a lot of had a lot of different comments um, from lots of different people um, saying that they would rather only watch one type of content, and that is absolutely fine as well. I I wouldn't. I'd never be offended by that either. Even if someone was like, I will only watch your thing that you put on. You know, we're we're educators and entertainers in a way, and certain things only please certain people. And that's absolutely fine. It's just human nature. When I was behind you, you say just drop a message if you want to chat. I greatly appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, Bobby. Darcy knows too well that I, I end up having a chat in the middle of the night as well. Me and Darcy chat a lot. Our boreals are the best. I say that, but I have none. <laughs> I like arboreals too. It's a shame you just don't see them that much. And your Asian ones, they like, they're more like just dirt curtains or fossorial half the time, aren't they, really? Um, but yeah, I quite like New World arboreals though. I like, like my Salmopius. I did really get into my tappies, but you know what? I'm just getting a little bit bored of them at the minute. They've got lovely web curtains. But they're all starting to look the same as they're growing up now. They are they are quite looking very, very similar to each other, which was a little bit disappointing. I was expecting something a little with a little bit more oomph to it between species to species. But I've got to be honest with you, I can barely tell the difference between um, uh, Cuprius, Latipes and uh, Polyboats. They look so damn similar to me. Oh yeah, Darcy, I remember us talking about uh, glass being cheaper over there. Some of the glass ones are cheaper over here. Sam looks deep in thought as it's frozen. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is going to keep freezing. This is why I don't do lives anymore. A lot of people say to me, why don't you do lives? If you think this is a bad connection, you should see what it's like when I'm up there. When I'm up in the realm, it's just like... There's just, you can't, it doesn't hold a connection at all. My router is a metre away if that right now and it's still not holding a connection very well uh mark's got to go thanks for joining mark i massively appreciate you coming on i really love the support thank you 
Um, maybe you'll change my mind on the sticks. Yeah, okay, Brenda, that is a challenge. That is a challenge. I will change your mind. Um, I've got a contact, like, very rare species, not in the hobby over here very often. And as I said, a lot of people jump at the chance to have them. They don't raise them properly. They don't research them properly. They die out or they get bored of them or they freeze off all the eggs because they don't want to deal with the babies. And that species, psh, gone, absolutely gone again. Um, so it's really important to kind of keep these going. But what I will say is if my um, stick insect plans happen, the bigger project, then there'll be a lot given away as well, just in the cost of people paying postage. That's one big benefit that will come from this project. It will take a while to do, but there'll be a lot of freebies to those that are willing to keep them correctly. Um, and all I ask is the postage costs. Uh, hi, Transfer Journey, how you doing, dude? Um, anyone that's joining now, you're not really missing much. Um, Good night, everyone that's, that's going. Um, literally, I'm just saying that the Realm Furb is, is doing really, really well. Um, and it's it's, well, it's practically done. But there are pre-recorded videos that are going to be coming out for a couple of weeks, which will allow me to work on bettering my content, as it were, and work on other projects. So I just was up. This was just an update live. BTS YouTuber drinks this year or next. Well, as soon as that's on, if I can get it off work, yeah, that, and it will be a messy one. I don't even know if I'd make it to the show. Like, I'd be that excited to see everyone. The rum will go down far too easy, and I'll, I'll probably just wake up in a field somewhere and, and completely miss the show. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Darcy. I hope you don't mind me vaping on the camera, guys, but I need it. I've been working all day. Need to get out the old rabbit ears for your internet. So the thing is, the internet's actually good. Like, my uploading is fantastic. My downloading speeds are fantastic. But my But live streaming is rubbish. Perhaps it's my phone. Maybe I should try getting the webcam out again. Might do a tester one one day. Go on. I really can't work it out because, as I said, downloads, upload speeds are great, but streaming is shocking, which is really, really strange. Or well, live streaming is shocking. Sorry, YouTube runs fine. No buffering, nothing. But when I go on live, it goes rubbish. Is that a work? Uh, sticky in your finger. Yeah, so this this is basically I um, cut myself at work. Tiny little paper cut it was. I didn't even know it was there. Um, and I was packing up stuff and I realised, I, I just looked at this person's bag of stuff and I was like, what is that? And I realised I'd been bleeding all over this person's bag and of course, like, with everyone's panicking right now, I was like, oh my god, I need to replace this entire thing. So I managed to uh, clean it up and put a plaster on and... Uh, sort out their food because I thought damn I can't be bleeding over everybody's stuff Tony's off thank you very much for joining Tony absolute pleasure to have you here and yeah we'll certainly catch up we need to do an interview with you someday soon if you're up to it yes um certainly I'm I'm a very busy person as you are as well uh daily transfer girl um but I will certainly find the time to do that it's no problem i just kind of need to know things in advance um so i can time scale it around because i work five days a week and i have my daughter for two days a week um but if i know something in advance i can kind of twist and turn things and, and see what i can do but i'd love to do that there's damn paper cups yeah it's quite it's it was uh it was quite a thick bit of paper as well it was almost like card kind of thick and it was serrated, so it's not even a clean cut. It was just ugh, messy and horrible. Uh, I had spiny leaf insects and I loved them. But as I said, bramble is so hard to get. Yeah, it can be. Um, I do plan on doing a video on how to find it if it's not around. 
you that easily like if you you're not noticeably living near a bramble patch especially within the uk um i can do a video on that the only reason i haven't ever done that is because i get a little bit paranoid filming out in public i get very uncomfortable doing it um i wouldn't want to bring my camera out with me because if somebody robbed that i but uh i don't know i it's still that kind of discomfort of filming out in public where people just staring at you like are you filming me and i just uh are you gonna turn up on our try actually tell you uh, yes um he's i've sent him mine I've, I've actually done it i don't know when my video goes up with him but yeah i, I have done one uh we'll work it out thank you awesome that would be great uh, and greet oh hello everyone else that's joined wow all parts of the world how are the huntsmen doing uh they didn't go down great to be honest with you i've still got look which ones have i still got going the red one and the black one the jet black one they didn't last that long the red one the fire huntsman was a mature male anyway so i knew he wasn't gonna last that long um, I can't remember all the, the proper names for the actual huntsmen. I need to learn them. The random one is still alive, and I love that random one. Uh, the lichen one is still alive. The javana is still alive. And I think there's one other as well. So we did lose two or three. But as I said, a couple were mature male. Um, so they, they didn't have much of a chance. Um, one of the most difficult one to look after is actually the one that was sold as like a purple and yellowy type one but it's more like black and gold um they're supposed to be ridiculously hard to keep and that one is still alive so i'm doing something right when things are better i'll come down and film you doing the brown yeah man come down you can more than welcome here anytime when the world's safe in fact no one really visits me so it'll be kind of nice to have visitors can't wait for the shows it's annoying that we can't make too many plans i know i know Especially with hotels, we can't just keep booking them and then they get cancelled. It's a nightmare. Um, you're in the UK, yeah. I will try and try and do that video for you the best I can. I might just kind of like film things with my phone and then voice over when I'm at home, so I'm a little bit more comfortable about doing it. Bobby wants to come over for the BTS. You would love it. You would love it. It is insane. Absolutely. One day you can come down. You can come with Bobby. You can both fly on over. And we can all just have a run. <laughs> it would be great. Do I take care of any golden beetle? Um, I don't have anything that's a, a golden beetle, I'm afraid. Sorry. I'm not quite sure which one you're referring to, if I'm honest with you. I don't do much with beetles. I don't have a vast beetle knowledge. So it's something I kind of would need to to crack on with. But there's so many different animals I'm learning about at the minute. I've got various books. In fact, there's one, uh, if we look, excuse the mess, uh, over here somewhere near my PlayStation, there's a book half open where I've been uh, reading up on various animals as well. No shows this year for me, too risky, Alex. Yeah, fair enough, man. It, it is, It's the, the risks are quite high. Like, I haven't seen my dad since before the first lockdown because um, he's not a very, not very well person and I don't want to risk making anything worse. So that's been a bit of a pain and I would hate to, to catch something and then bring it back here or, or to him when it, where he would have seen him again. Hello from Aberdeen. Hello, how are you? Oh, it's your wife, is it, Alex? No worries. Yep, Fast Auto Day is the way forward. There will be a lot more videos coming soon. Hi, Bobo and Sam. Good to see you, pal. Hope you're keeping well. I am absolutely fine, actually. I'm great. I've got nothing to whinge about, really, today. Thank you for coming on and joining. I'll just let you guys know I'm only going to stay for another few minutes because, as I said, I wasn't expecting people to actually join this live. <laughs> um, so if there's anything you want to say, get it out there now. Um, and I'll try and answer everything before I go. Oh, Tanya's got a new spider babies coming tomorrow. Are you recording that? Is there going to be a video of the new babies or is it just housed off camera? 
guys never bought a mystery box they're not for everyone i've kind of started going off them now when i was at the start of my collection i really enjoyed them because i was happy to have anything old world new world any even if it wasn't tarantulas chucked in a box i was happy because as soon as i get something i knuckle down or reading about it i found it therapeutic and enjoyable and i'd try and look after that animal the Oh god, this keeps cutting off. And I'm getting a little bit sick of swings at the minute, if I'm honest. If I had to get ads, I do have ads. I did very badly with them. Um, very badly. So I had ads from Ants HQ. They were all doing absolutely fine, probably for a couple of months, and then all of a sudden. The workers just started dying out and the other ones weren't being produced quick enough and it just i just failed them to be honest with you um with native ants i have kept queens and they have had offspring and then i've just ended up releasing them because they're just not my thing i like watching them like i watch uh, ants canada um i find it great to watch about ants and i do find them interesting i just don't have that enjoyment of keeping them several videos to put together homeschool's taking over my life yeah oh, i hate homeschooling it's not good not cool is it mystery boxes got me over 120 t's way over my head no mystery boxes for t's but i still love my mystery boxes yeah oh yeah you get mystery boxes of all sorts of different things though don't you bobby got her new animals yeah i watched that video Cheapest mystery box is $150 plus shipping. Wow, that's insane. Some of your animals over there are mental prices too, aren't they? Bobby, how big was that uh, pokey you got? Was it? A, did you say it was the Rufalata that you got? I can't remember now. Was it Rufalata? How big was that one? Because I think they're a lot more expensive over there than they are over here but dependent on the size that's why i was trying to figure out if you if i know what size it is i'll tell you like a price comparison old world's and michael's favorite love the attitudes yeah you, they are fantastic aren't they i uh, anything i'm not into is old world fossorials although they'll give you attitude you just never see them i got an old oreo tibialis i've seen legs about three or four times in my life since i first got it and that's it i think i have slightly better luck than you with ants but not much <laughs> got my first sticker set recently much easier i think i'll concentrate on them yeah they're great but just don't get yourself overwhelmed um before i did youtube i had raised i think i was I can't quite remember. I know I've raised over 70 species now, but before YouTube, I was probably on at least like 50 of those. And it just got way too much. And this was before I owned anything else. I think I'd had a couple mantis as well, but that's before I got into tarantula keeping or anything. And it's so easy to overwhelm yourself with them, but they are fantastic to keep. P. Metallica Sling. $125. Wow. So about six centimeters. So Bobby, what I can't remember how much that sent yours. Was it's like it's over a hundred dollars though, wasn't it? I think. So I had a Rufalata that is about the same size. And it cost me fifteen pounds. One five. That's it. Fifteen. Fifteen pounds. Which is like what? Less than thirty dollars. I don't know the, the, the rate differences, but yeah, it'll be less than that. Mental, isn't it? Mental prices. But then you get certain stuff that's a completely different price to us as well, like the other way around. It's crazy. And we've got some phone of Palma talk going on here. I agree, fossils are not my thing either. I like to watch my spiders. I wonder if they've died in the burrow. Yeah, I'm actually going to try and sell some of my fossorials now, or if I can't sell them, I'll pass them on to people that I know will enjoy keeping them. They're just really not for me.
Oh, sorry to hear that, Tanya. I um remind I had blah, start again. I had the most rotten luck with Nandus before. I had um mature male chromatis. I had Tropepi was ended up being male and I passed him on to somebody. Chloratovelosis ended up being male. So now I'm deliberately rebuying my Nandus as sexed females. So now I've got uh, I haven't checked the malts myself yet, but they were bought as female carapuensis, female uh, sex female, because it was devastating watching them mature to males. Togo Starbucks with attitude. I have never owned one of them. I think I've had slings before that didn't make it, so I, I need to get one. Gives me as close as strikes at the class. <laughs> She was 140, but he knocked it down to 110. Wow, that is mental, isn't it? Absolutely mental. One girl has a problem every moment she loses the same leg. That's interesting. I wonder if there's a genetic issue there, perhaps, or maybe the reproduction of the leg, the regrowing, is not developing properly. I wonder, I wonder what that is. That's very interesting. Can you keep a few species of stick insects in the same setup? It's not recommended that you do, um, but when you've been keeping a while, you kind of can if they've got uh, similar climates, but they also have to be of a similar size. So um, never keep leaf insects with stick insects because they will eat them. They're stupid and they will munch on a, on, a, on a leaf insect as if it is actually a leaf. I don't know why they don't notice straight away that it's not, but they do it anyway because they're crazy. Um, don't keep anything with a defensive spray in with another stick insect because that will cause problems. Don't keep anything too big with something too small. Um, and obviously don't keep an arid species with a humid species. You, so yes, you can, but you have to be very kind of conscious of the species. So if they're from the same sort of area in the wild or similar climates, then I say go for it. The only thing you'll need to do is make sure you can identify the differences in their eggs in the ova and identify the differences in nymphs. Because once they start hatching in your enclosure, um, you're going to need to know what's what. Especially if you end up being overrun and you need to pass them on, obviously you're going to need to know which species it is. So that's that's uh, my tip for you on that. Darcy's purposely not buying fossorials. I'm sorry if I'm behind on the comments here. Get back in work, you missed the spot. Hey dude, how was work? <laughs> Cody Sensi and more. I only got eighties now. Yeah, I know it's, it's a shame. I do miss like I still I still watch your content by the way. Um Feral Ferret, my friend. Um your random stuff that you do. But um I do miss you doing to answers. I know that's not your way you want to go anymore, but I do miss it. Five species of stick insect. Spine devils being my fave. I'm lucky because I have plenty of brambles growing in my garden. That is ideal basically that is like a a keeper's dream to have it in your garden it really is big female tripepi and younger male yeah good luck with that i hope you can breed them that'll be cool post your mind will keep you on your toes <laughs> Red Cross one APT suspect female coming tomorrow, super excited. And some Thrixipelma, like, is it Laguna? I don't know much about those, but uh, yeah, I want to get another OBT. I do miss them. I want uh, some of the different variants though. I want the Kagoma and is it M Mikumi? Mikumi, if I said that right? They're like the darker ones, uh, the darker variants are really, really nice. Oh, look, I've caught up. I've caught up. Oh, yay. I'm in a really good mood now. I'm going to go to bed a happy person that I got to talk to my friends. It's really, really nice to have this conversation. I've been there. Uh, it's been so lonely. This lockdown is starting to get to me a bit because obviously I still work and everything. But my, my only socialising is in work. It's a little bit depressing, isn't it? I know everyone's in the same boat, so I shouldn't complain, but...
I do need to get off in a minute as well because I also have a message from Amy and I need to check that in case it's fatal fangs related. I got burnt out on my teeth, so I was doing same in, same out, got overwhelmed, it was enough. I didn't bring anything new to the game. Yeah, it's a shame. It's It's got like that now though, hasn't it? There's so many, and no offence to anyone because there's a lot of trash achievers here, but there has got to be, there's a lot now. And you've got to do what you enjoy and if it burnt you out and you don't enjoy it, then I completely understand why you're filming side because there's nothing worse than feeling forced to put out a video that about in, in a way that you don't really care. That you, you don't want to do that video. You don't want to be the same as everyone else and it does does get you down. So... I completely understand that, but I still I still miss the content anyway. I'm glad you got some tips, Tanya. I I couldn't give you any info on that species because I wouldn't have a clue. Oh, you get people spraying the chemicals on your brambles. Yes, we get that in certain spots too, and I have made the mistake of picking from one before because I believed that it was a safe zone and it wasn't that was horrendous i lost a lot then i almost gave up that hobby that side of the hobby once you're going back a while now but yeah got to be so so careful nowadays i'm at work today i've already been to work haha -ha. but technically i'm also at work today now it's after midnight i'm retired so lockdown is horrible a widowed lady in loneliness is oh wow I'm really sorry about that, Brenda. That's a that can't be cool. I think my dad would probably feel the same. Like uh, he's not is he's, he's never he's been apart from my mum. My mum's still alive, but um, he's been locked in a house for he's retired. He's been locked in a house since the start of lockdown because he's uh, got COPD and emphysema, so he can't go out because if he catches it, he's not he's very unlikely to pull through. Um, I mean, he can't get out much anyway, but then being forced indoors, and he lives in such a beautiful area as well. He lives out by Dartmoor. So anyone that doesn't know Dartmoor, it's a massive natural park with lovely forest trees, wild horses, and various other animals around. It's, uh, it's an absolutely beautiful place to be. And he can't go out and enjoy it because sadly, everyone wants to go there, especially when the sun's out. So it's too risky. Um, and you're off to sleep. Thanks for live video. Stay safe, my friend. And you, thank you very much for joining. Hello, Stefan. How are you? May do an update video for, for Sam. Yes, do an update video for me. You'll have to send me the link, though, because um, my notification... Greetings from California. Hello. Appreciate your videos. Thank you very much and thank you for joining. I'm actually not going to be on for very much longer now, but I still appreciate you coming on. Home at midnight. That's when I should have been home, but I got out early. <laughs> Right, I need to scroll down a bit, so I'm sorry if I miss any messages. I just need to kind of catch up so I can get off this. I'm from Corby, supposed to be the worst area for COVID. It's been crazy. Oh, God. That's not cool, man. Like, we were a really good town for it uh, a while ago at the start, I think, because we're a really big town um, or city, whatever. And I think we only ended up with, like, 300 cases in our whole area for ages. And now we're on thousands. It's gone mental here as well. It's, it's going absolutely nuts. Well, thank you, Brenda. Yeah, he's he'll be all right. He's kind of he's not one to complain anyway. So he just gets on with it, really. I just would like to be able to visit him. I think I actually did go over in the first lockdown, but I didn't go into his house. I picked up his medication and left outside his front door. Um, sort of waved at him through the window and that's the last time I've seen him which is a shame lost two work colleagues and a family friend to it blimey man took it home my dad in the hospital it scared me so oh I bet it's a nightmare isn't it we just need this world to get better it's crazy it's not something I ever thought I'd see in my lifetime like you see the films and things and you didn't like if I could look 
today's average day now going on now but years ago and see all the people wearing masks and visors and things i'd have been like whoa what's coming what is going on both your neighbors are 20 years passed away blimey i'm sorry for everyone that's had losses this is a real shame i mean i've been quite fortunate um i don't i know of people that have lost their lives to it and i had one friend that didn't have covid but lost her life because of it because of um and sadly this person ended their own life um so technically it kind of did lose someone to it in a way just not in the way people tend to think um which is a real shame um fortunately for me in a selfish way it's someone i hadn't seen for a couple of years so they were a good friend of mine but we kind of like went separate ways so in a selfish way it wasn't like uh we weren't as close to the point where it would have really really affected me badly like it would have if we had stayed very close friends but it's still gutting oh hi amy how are you doing um i saw i've got messages from you i will read them after the stream i'm going to be going off soon i was just updating people on the realm fab all the stuff you'd already know because uh amy is um a youtube member of mine so she gets all the updates as is a few other people in here bobby as well they all get they all get updates they're either youtube members or they're patrons and they get to see everything i haven't seen my dad in almost a year because of covid i talk to him every year but i'd like to see him make sure he's okay well fingers crossed that things get better and you can do that oh sorry amy yeah of course happy birthday well for yesterday now ha 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 did you have a good birthday? Oh, you've probably told me that in your message. I'll, I'll read it in a bit. Right, guys, I'm going to call it in five minutes because then I would have been on for an hour. So I'm just going to take this moment to say thank you for having a conversation with me and uh, defeating that loneliness of the evening. And yeah, being patient, you've kind of lifted my spirits quite strongly, actually, because as I have said, I started this live stream just to pop out a quick message and was going to turn it off. I didn't expect people to join. So it's been really, really nice to talk to you guys and catch up with a few people, especially some names that I haven't seen in a while. So um, I think I'm going to, well, we'll still stay on for these five minutes, but to anyone that's going now, thank you very much. Um, and is there anything else anybody needs to add just very, very quickly before I shoot? Is there anything important or anything you, 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 you want to ask before I go? Of course, also, it's a good supporter of mine. Thank you very much, Brenda. Lovely to have a conversation with you. Have I got my clips of Faith Frank 3? Oh, yeah, I still want to replace one, though. I still want to replace one. The... Some of the shots were beautiful, but it wasn't good enough for me, in my mind. But if I don't, if I can't replace it, I'll hand it in anyway. So yeah, beginner stick insects, the Indian stick insects, pretty much the most basic, immortal beginner insects that you can have, as long as you're willing to freeze off some eggs. Because if you are against doing that, then you're going to get so overwhelmed that you they'll eat everything within a day. But yes, your Cimarosis, Indian stick insects, you can't get more beginner than that. But um, yeah, they breed like wildfire. So you need to be really, really, really careful <laughs> with how many you decide to keep. Convince you about the sticks? I certainly will do. Forgot to do Creepy Crawly's intro. Here you go. All things Creepy Crawly. Should we do it that way too? Boom, 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 boom. boom. There you are, just for you. So I am I am going to call it now, guys. I think that's the questions answered. Thank you again for joining. It's been lovely to chat to you all. And uh, he's probably gone already by now, but a big thanks to Richard for the little super chat, my first ever one. I've never, ever had a super chat, so that was so cool. So thank you very much. Uh, what pets do I have? You'll have to go through the channel <laughs> or send me a private message because there are a lot too many to list in the last like minute of this so right 
yeah i'm gone again thanks for joining i'm actually going to go and cancel this off now and i'll speak to you soon if anybody wants me i'll be awake for maybe another hour so you can send me a private message okay thanks guys take care bye oh god <laughs> before i go <laughs> thank you amy <laughs> that's so kind of you thank you so so much this is cool i really don't know how these things work uh, these stickers and chats and stuff i need to really learn how to youtube <laughs> thank you so so much have a good night everyone take care bye bye how do i end this are you sure you want to